Right, over these uh, next couple of tutorials, we're just going to look at uh, Camera Raw 7, which comes with Adobe Photoshop CS6. Uh, you can see there, Camera Raw 7. Uh, the tools along the top, nothing's really changed much along there. Um, just about the same. Don't seem to put too much work into this. You can see here from this new uh, basics panel that uh, we have all of those lined up. Uh, we now have RGB curves to play with. Uh, the sharpening looks about the same. HL grayscale, same. The bits are only the same. Um, one of the things I always try and do, first thing I should I always do is to enable the lens profile cor corrections. Uh, that cures any minor lens defaults. Uh, so if I take something into Photoshop, it's got rid of aberrations, it's got rid of any um, curvature and barreling or pin cushioning before I take it out of RAW and into Photoshop. Uh, nothing again, much has changed. We've got the process 2012. You can always revert back to your older processes at 2010, 2003. Uh, one of the things it does when you're loading Photoshop CS6, it asks you if you want to migrate your presets. Uh, I'd say yes. I've got lots of presets in RAW, and you can see that they've all tripped across the light fantastic and appeared here in Adobe Camera Raw from my previous camera. So we're gonna look at this image. You can see that the sliders are in the middle. Uh, a quick look at the histogram shows me, and a quick look at the image, of course, shows me that this shadow detail is not really there. So we can just work those shadows. You see there, a bit of a spike at the end on the shadow end there. Uh, try and get rid of that with the blacks. All right, you might want to have a bit of black in there, but you can see if we pull the black slider across, that's reducing the peak in uh, your histogram. Exposure as well is a bit under, probably a stop or two under, uh, or a stop under, I should say, so I can pull that across. I like a nice contrast image, so I'm just to pop some contrast in there. You can see there, before and after, what we've done so far. Um, you might want to save this out as a preset. It's entirely up to you. We'll look at presets in uh, the next tutorial. So, play around with your sliders. Uh, you could actually probably do 90% of your work in Camera Raw if you want to, if you're just really processing uh, to move them onto print or whatever. Um, Clarity has been improved, of course. Uh, it's not giving those really strong haloing uh, effects around your images, although if you drag it right across to the side there, you can get some pretty crazy sharpening effects. Same again, if you take it the other way, uh, soften things out. Um, we can use that again in beauty retouching, another tutorial I might do later on. Uh, RGB, yes, working with the curves. So we can work with curves, although I really would like to have a hand tool in here, and even with the parametric tool, it doesn't work with curves. So uh, Adobe, think about putting a hand tool in here to work with these. Uh, it would be great. Okay, so we've got the parametric of the point. Point I'd work in now because of the ability to work the channels. And you can just do some creative cross-processing looks in here now. Or if you want to, you could warm the image up or cool it down by uh, choosing a channel. If you just mouse down and click it, we have the points at the end as well. So if you want to work your shadows and move your shadows into a different kind of color area, uh, mouse down in the middle, drag it around. Uh, you can be as creative as you want. Again, at the highlights, just using the green curve, but using the straight line, pulling it around. And so you have all this flexibility now, which you had before in um, Photoshop, and of course you've got now in Lightroom 4. Uh, it's here now in Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, to get rid of the points if you want to uh, you can just mouse down on them grab them drag them along and you can actually just pull them away from the curve and get rid of them so just drag them pull them away easy enough just to uh, be flexible remember just adding instructions to your raw file here you're not uh, altering the raw file at all um, so that's really been a quick look to start with we'll come back in and we'll look at the adjustment brush and see what's new in there uh, but until the next time uh, thanks for calling by and uh, that's it. Bye for now.